Hi, welcome to another UK Gravel Collective YouTube video. Uh, and on today's video, we are trying out some brand new handlebars from Redshift. These are called the Top Shelf Handlebars. Um, in a minute, I'll give you a brief overview of what's different from their normal loop and non-loop kitchen sink bars. Uh, and then we'll go for a ride. Uh, it's also a setup ride um, for my single speed drop bar conversion. Now, I made it a bit of an error because it used to be a sort of a single speed gravel bike with a flat bar. Um, and so it had max 42 mil tires on, which were fast rolling. Now I put these 2.35 mescals on, which are not fast rolling, especially in UK spring conditions. So the uh, front chain ring is a 36 and rear is a 19 which is fine on tarmac and flat um, gravel roads because you can bowl along quite happily you would not keep up with anyone on a normal gravel bike or probably even a mountain bike with gears but when you're out solo um, it's fine however in the woods not so good because well you can see how greasy it is so there's very little traction, so you have to stand up. Rear wheel spins, you have to stand up because of the gearing. It's not good. So what I might need to do is change that front chain ring for a 34, just and compromise the um, on-road speed for off-road because off-road is where all the fun is anyway. Um, so anyway, back to the top shelf bars from Redshift. Here's a brief overview. And then after that, we'll go for a ride and see if it's made any difference to this bike um, over how it used to be with drop bars. Uh, so these are the Redshift top shelf handlebars uh, modeled on Redshift's very popular and very comfortable um, kitchen sink handlebars, which um, you may have seen because one version of them has a loop at the front. Um, these don't have a loop, but what they do have is a significant rise. Now these are 50 mil rise, they're 44 mil wide. They've got the usual flare that the kitchen sink bar has. Um, but yeah, 50 mil rise, they also come in a 70 mil rise. Now I know what you're thinking. Why do I need a riser bar on a gravel bike? Well you don't. But some people really struggle with um, the height of gravel bars, i.e. they're too low. So these address that, obviously, with this rise. So what it means is, obviously, this part is higher, this part is higher, and more significantly, the drops are higher, because if you're riding technical gravel trails, this is where you want to be because when you're riding along um, and you're here, your hand is much more secure when you're being bumped around. Much more secure than here because you can fly off, but you want to be here. Now, if you're right down here, you're gonna feel really precarious. It's gonna affect your confidence over difficult terrain. So these are a little bit higher. So if you're struggling with drop bars um, and you need a little bit of rise, then these are ideal. Now I've got this on this bike, which is a singular Swift, which is actually a mountain bike. So what that means is the distance from here to here is much longer on a mountain bike than it is on a road bike traditionally, because traditionally you have a long stem on a road bike um, and your hands are much further out. A mountain bike bar would be here, Whereas your road bike, you're further out. So you're much more stretched. So normally, if when I've tried to monster cross this and put a drop bar on it, it's feel, felt really stretched out and uncomfortable, especially when descending off road. So um, Redshift contacted me and said, would you be interested in this? And I said, I've got the ideal bike for it. It's a single speed um, mountain bike conversion that I've tried to do in the past. Uh, and wanted to love 
but I never really got on with it because it felt too stretched out. Um, so these I fitted and these are supposed to solve that problem. So there's only one way to find out and that's to go for a ride. So this will be the first ride on the Redshift top shelf handlebar. Um, let's see how it goes. Um, hopefully, I really want it to work. Um, it'll solve the issues that I've had with a normal bar. As previously mentioned, when I've done a drop bar conversion on this mountain bike before, um, I felt like that was really stretched out in a sort of time trial or Superman position. I was actually using the uh, Redshift kitchen sink bar, which has the same um, reach, drop and flare as these bars, but obviously they didn't have any rise. And I have to say that my hands seem to sit on the hoods a lot, lot better than when they were on the other bars. It's using exactly the same levers and shifters, although this one doesn't shift because there's only one gear. Um, so yeah, really happy. Um, also running the same stem length as it was before. And it feels, just feel a lot, lot better. Um, yeah, so, so far so good. Apart from the gearing, oh, oh. Sorry, there's lots of huffing and puffing and moaning, but this is a proper workout and it seems to be flat. <laughs> but yeah, I can reach the, reach the brakes um, and down on the drops, it feels good as well. But um, what I need to do is go and find a proper downhill um, and try it out, just sat on the drops and see what the control's like, whether it feels, gives me more confidence than the position on the old bars did. Um, oh, why is it still so wet? It's almost April, I can't believe it. Well, actually it is April, isn't it? Because this was uh, embargoed until the beginning of April. So I'm actually filming this in March. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, all this will be dust. Anyway, let's go and find some downhill. Now there's no dropper post on this bike. The brakes are terrible and the tires are rubbish. So let's go and do a greasy downhill. Oh yeah, it is very greasy, especially when you've got no grip whatsoever. Whoa. Well, I don't say anything because I'm concentrating on staying upright. <laughs> But I feel fine on the drop. Woo! Slippy. What I don't feel fine on is this front tyre. And now for what is locally known as the tank slapper because of its muddy nature but usually only at the bottom but it seems to be this year wow that's uh had a saddle to the gonad that's not good um oh it's actually not as bad as it was last time i rode it i mean it's bad and it's not as bad Let's get off the brakes now we're coming to the tank slap a bit as you can see, whoa. Oh, pedal, pedal, pedal. Well, whoa. actually, that bit of mud there, you don't need brakes because you came to a standstill almost straight away. <laughs> 
Yeah, feeling good, feeling good on the drops. Hopefully the camera angle can pick that up and uh, we're not covered in mud. Give you a quick wipe. A rigid steel bike is uh, a joy <laughs> on a rough, bricky, stony downhill, isn't it? But you see my hands, hopefully, in the drops. They're not going to get bounced off. If I was on the hoods, there's a chance they might. But you get more control here. Uh, and because of the rise on these bars, I'm able to just stay on the, the drops. You can reach the brakes. I've got much more control. Right, so... Oh, sorry about the mud there. Let's go and get some drink. You're alone with a bike. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Are you playing that just for me? <laughs> Cheers. No and after a hard single speed with wrong gearing review of some handlebars, what's better than a nice hot coffee Ooh. and a warm sausage roll? <laughs> so, what do I think of the Redshift top shelf handlebar? Well, it's not going to be for everyone um, because most people are quite happy with their position on the um, gravel bike or mountain bike drop bar conversion. But if you're not, if you feel that you need a bit more rise, you need to be a bit more upright uh, and so um, your stretch isn't as long, um, if you want to feel a bit more confident when descending on the drops, then it's definitely one to consider. I mean, they're super comfy as the kitchen uh, kitchen sink bar. Um, so that's no different here. You're just getting that little bit of extra rise. And of course you can stick all your accessories on here. You can still fit a bar bag on the front if that's what you want to do. Um, so yeah, the Redshift top shelf handlebar. That's a bit of a winner if uh, you're in need of a bit more rise. If you'd like to see more reviews on UK Gravel Collective YouTube channel and ukgravelco.com uh, then please subscribe, please like the videos and uh, give us a comment um, and hopefully see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, check out the bar. See ya.